We're back with Crash ran away. And if you said, well, what did what she do yesterday? Yeah, she ran away yesterday, pushed the gate open, and went down to the pond. If you said, did you try to catch her? Oh, I tried. All right, so Brody's way down there. I think, you know, if you said, well, I'm training dogs, I'm not assessing and strategizing all the time. You're done. Your, your situational awareness about the dog's thought process is really the only thing that matters. It's true. If you see this thing, start thinking the wrong thing. Your job is not to correct its thinking. I mean, correct its behavior. It's, it, your job is, is to change its thought process to do what you want. It's, it's not going to be successful. You know, this, some guy was bullying me. After my video about the bullying, some German guy. Oh, maybe you should check out some this some German trainer. Oh, that has 800-something subscribers. Uh, and... I said, yeah, I checked out your buddy's YouTube. He's got 800 subscribers. I have 13,000, so whatever. He needs to watch my channel. Oh, well, he's all positive. You use e-collars. Oh, okay, well, that makes me a bad person, so good day, sir. You know, that's what they're trying to say. He is better because he uses, he, because he is better than you because he's pure positive. Any, anytime someone says to me they're pure positive, to me that says they really haven't been exposed to a lot of the dog world. <laughs> I saw some really weird force fetch. It was this force fetch versus not force fetch video. Just was trying to show Grit's owner. He didn't understand what a force fetch was. And, you know, there's 500 million videos way worse than that one on there. I said, this is a seven-year-old video. You know, what is your problem? And then finally I just got rid of it. You know, but it was just like I was saying. This guy's trying to bully me. He, what he's trying to say is because this guy doesn't use e-collars, he's better than you. No, it's really the opposite. Because he doesn't understand tech, I'm better than him. That's true. <laughs> if he said he can do better distance for, I didn't, not from what I saw. Looked like a guy in a field jumbling around some boxes, real close, tight work, that's all I saw. You know, now I see if someone doesn't have a platform, then I think it's bad. <laughs> now I'm that judgy. But, you know, that was exactly what I was talking about. The guy's bullying me. He's better than you. He's pure positive. You use e-collars. Oh, okay. I said, you don't know jack shit about e-collars. And so don't act like you do. That's what I say to these people. Oh, gosh, ran away. So what is default training? That was the, that was the title. But default training is just getting the dog to reflect the handler's behavior, really. And if you said, why is that going to be better? You can't task people with commanding dogs to do things. It just won't be successful. Whereas just getting the dog to do these behaviors by default only requires... I already found one frozen frog. I now see this chameleon up there. It needs to get in the sun. It's probably frozen on the wall right there. Apparently these iguanas down south are just falling out of the tree, completely frozen. I mean, they might be able to thaw back out. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know, there's some video on YouTube. If you ever start watching um, these videos, all right, so I'm looking for him to go on that hip, Jessica, so that's why I, yay. Uh, so I'll just pretend like I'm on the phone. Uh huh. Yeah. If you start watching these top 10 videos on YouTube, you then fall into a portal. And if you said like what? Oh, top 10 frozen animals that got found. Okay, so here we go. Here's trouble. So my job is you. Oh, your nose is like a little pink, pink ice cube. Oh, it's so cold. My job is to reward the default behavior when it reappears. Oh, he's trying to fight her off. Oh, how awful. If you said, why is this dog dragging the leash? That's going to be the next episode. And this is a dog that fights the leash. And I'm at a point where I have to help. Okay, here we go. Let's show you how to stop that biting. So that was indirect pressure, but he doesn't blame me, he blames her. Oh, please don't touch me with your nose. It's like a little pink ice cube. Oh, it's like a little pink ice cube. Oh, she was almost laying down. She's, she's gonna try to copy him. I better, be, I better be smart and reward that. Oh yeah, no, she doesn't lay down. And if you said, why does she fight the leash? <laughs> if, if I had to guess, Know who's here. If 
I had to guess, uh, the reason she fights the leash is because they were all in a pen together, and when they went to get him out, I'm guessing, oh, I don't know, Tony was there. They probably had to lasso him, and the dog fought the leash. And so it's got that component to its behavior. So if you said, what do you do? Well, at some point, you're probably going to have to manually work through it. And if you said, what is the best course of action? And I did that with that dog, Kanga, too. It immediately shut down when I put the leash on. And this dog doesn't shut down when you put the leash on. It just very <laughs> willing to... She dropped something off at the gate. Okay. I forgot she was coming. That was man. This is awesome. Anyway, I can help all this pretty on the leash. Oh, hi, George. Yeah, George. This dog, because I don't know if you remember the original story, it was a rescue that was in a pen with like five other brothers and sisters and I think like the mother and father or whatever so they got rescued and I'm sure they just got slip leads and got them out of the pen and if you said well did it how did that go oh, probably not that good so it's got that component to its behavior and I'm saying to myself okay I, I need to one that's not something could be corrected away but two I better deal with it now because it is going to require some manual forcing the dog forward. If you said why, I have to give it a new strategy for dealing with fighting the leash, which is just going to be pop forward. No, I'll keep going back. If you said, well, why, why do you need... I need to do something before it gets any bigger. Look how big she is. Anyway, she just interrupted Brody's episode. But, you know, this is Brody's house anyway. Oh, yeah, okay. Yay! She's bringing me the least. Oh, you precious little ice cube, little nose, little dog. Oh, your nose is like a little pink ice cube. Oh, my God. Oh, you should have seen her if you're there, Tony. Oh, George, when she was out, it was so cold yesterday, and she came in, her little nose was beet red. Oh, no, she looked like Rudolph. <laughs> oh, her little nose was beet red. Oh, it was beet red. Uh, and then when she touched me, it was so cold. I was, oh, I was running away from her. <laughs> I was running away from her. So I've got to help the dog. And, and there's a term called light on the leash. <laughs> the dog needs to be lighter on the leash. And if you said, well, no resistance at all, that it's, it, it, it can overcome. And if you said, well, that's, that's impulse control. It is impulse control, that it can overcome its impulse to fight the leash and move forward. And then you can just... Because she's just looking for something to get. Why is she looking for anything she can pick up? But that's what you're looking at is... And I didn't teach her to sit either. She's just doing that on her own. Oh my God, she very, feels very superior. And you see Brody's not, if you said, what's my strategy with Brody? And if he starts being too much with that mouth, you see how he stopped? And I'm gonna tell you, if you're there, Mike, the incidental finding with this dog is, it will stop, but then it does come back to the handler. So if you said, you should be aware of that. And there would be times you might want that as they're going to have to have some escape strategy. This is what I want you to think of. Rather than just the behavior ceasing, there is always going to be the escape strategy. I'm surprised I didn't do the shake off. But if, if it's escape strategy from the other dog is to run to the handler, well, then you're doing good. Oh, yeah, so... So my strategy with this dog is it's just going to have to chronically drag this leash and then I'm going to have to delicately start randomly picking up the leash 
and saying quickly move forward. When you see my hand on this leash, that means move quickly forward and then just end it with that. Then that's just a micro task. The handler's hand on the leash is anticipate moving forward. Not, oh, I'm awful. Not going in reverse. Oh, my little pink ice cube nose. All right, so what I want is this little brown dog to lay down. Oh, I'm awful. Okay, so now he's copying her. I've got my little foot signal that, oh, shit. And I didn't, I, didn't have, I didn't even get to it. That's how fast it's happening. I didn't get to my foot signal. But yeah, Jessica, this is simulating your house. Sonar is playing the teenager, don't you see? Crash is the little ones over there playing off on their own. They don't necessarily always, honestly, that's been my experience with small kids. I mean, they can be intimidated by a bunch dog. If you said, well, you're not intimidated by sonar. Yes, I am. <laughs> Let me go get some treat. If she starts getting all, you know, you know, that one video of that great Dane that was biting at the guy's bicep and stuff and everybody's laughing and saying, oh, give it a hug. This dog would do that to me and... You see, it doesn't do it anymore. It could again, but if you said, well, do you hug it? What the hell am I going to do that? I understand that that's a big red flag. You know, you got one deciding it's going to grab you by the back of your arm. That's not good. He says, it's just playing. Who cares? I don't play that shit. Homie, don't play that. Oh, I don't play games like that. All right, we got some treats. Ice cube nose. Look at her little nose. It's just getting beat red. All right, so this dog, I want. Okay, so if he jumps at me, I do have my. T oh, how awful. You know, I'm saying to this dog, just, you know, keep your head when all those about you are losing theirs. So that's my. I'm doing my. This is probably going to fly through the air here in a second. Why don't do something quick? That's my cue to go down. It's just the pager and the, you know, so this dog is operating what I consider pretty normal for a young male lab. You are using the neck and that's your button on the side. But I do think it's important, especially with one like this, that is biting and using other individuals because if you said well the way he's biting at that dog was what he was doing to the kids I'd say oh I believe that uh so okay that's where the next gonna come in if I've already done it with the dog the dog understands that concept and it is the shield is this thing has the ability to form a shield around itself and then when the behavior stops then it just stops. This dog will kind of boomerang to the handler. <laughs> he's trying to give me the leash. Oh, you little monkey. And he's laying down over here. Oh, she's my little precious angel. So, we, you know, Sonar doesn't, oh, she's awful. Look at her. But I want him to say to himself, it doesn't matter. No matter what, I just lay down. No matter what, oh, shh, no matter what else is going on, I lay down because that's how I solve my problems. Brody. And then he'll heal. Thank you.
No, oh, he's absolutely perfect. So, you know, if you can lay down, and that's, you know, that's going to be his job, not jumping around the kids and everything. He's just be this dog that just lays down all the time. If you see what's the opposite? A dog that jumps up all the time. That's a, it's the exact opposite of that is a dog that jumps up all the time. So, you know, by installing that as a default, I'm not going to say to these people, okay, well, just when he jumps up, say no, 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 no. If that's going to work, it's going to work right away. It's, it's not going to be, keep saying no, no, no every time he does it. If you haven't done something to install, you know, when this dog is done being trained, it should have a lot of demonstrable new behaviors that didn't have. Not, we've somewhat tried to do the jumping and the biting and the mouthing by doing these ridiculous things because we don't understand that that's a part, that's the, the, a symptom, not a, the, the problem is the big picture. If every, if you train dogs, I'm gonna tell you right now, everything you do better be feeding your big picture. This guy and his, Oh, I'm just playing around with it, slapping it on the ribs while the dog does. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I want to tell you what that tells me. She felt resistance on that leash, and she came back. And she said, did you think she, she, did she, did she think you pulled it? It kind of seemed like she did. She was looking to be paid immediately for coming back. So that was kind of cool. If you said what would have been bad if I hadn't rushed over there and then she would have started spooking and dragging that platform after herself. <laughs> yeah, you gotta supervise them when they're dragging the leash like that. But and Holly, if you're there, that's Holly's leash. <laughs> okay, so she's trying to get the. So I can use the the pager to get her over there. And then this one I can get down. <laughs> oh, it's my little circus act. That one goes down. This one goes up. I call it up and down, Bill. Oh, watch. So it isn't, oh, so awful. It's like WWE. Tell the boys it's like WWE. She comes flying down from the sky on top of Brody. You know, and you don't want kids wrestling with them if you said, well, she'll get you know, the kids can't wrestle with them, the kids, and they don't want to. If you said, well, well, dogs have faster reflexes and sharper teeth than kids, so you're never going to win. <sighs> Husbands either. You can't, uh, I still remember that one. Oh, my husband's not going to be able to survive if he can't play tug. Oh, Jesus. He sounds like a real deep guy. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, I just said, well... All right, please send the obituary so I can send my condolences. <laughs> oh, he's found this old trash. Yay! I can get him to pick up anything and give it to me merely by folding my arms up. So that needs to be your strategy, unless it's a dead frog or something. If you're there, just go. If it's a dead frog or something, you say, what do you do? We scream and run in the house. That's what we do. <laughs> we hit the pager, scream, and run in the house and hope the dog drops it and chases after us. <laughs> you said, what do we do if it brings it in the house? Oh, you're on your own then, lady. <laughs> Jessica's like, no. Uh, they're, I already did there. I see it right over there. I got to scoop it up. It's, there's a frozen frog. It must have fallen out of the tree. Yay. Oh, she'll give me anything, too. Look at her. All I had to do was pull my hands up. Oh, she picks up all the trash. She's absolutely, and you see what happens. They've both got, this big one doesn't have a default down and I better hurry up and get one on her. I said, I better get serious about training this dog because she's getting so big. You know, and I can't have one that's 100 and something pounds to the sides. It's gonna throw back to its, you know, puppy behavior of, I have to ask Tony what happened when they got him out of this pen. I, I don't think they had ever been on a leash before, though. I'm willing to bet they didn't go willingly. All right, so they want to go out there and chase Crash. Sonar's just trying to look for anything that's going to get prizes. Anything, any anything that'll get a reaction. Yeah. 
you know, you are installing a different footwork in the dog. Brody wants to go down there and chase Crash. He says, well, well, Crash runs in circles and barks. And, oh, she, no, she said, what if Brody went down to the... Oh, yeah, well, if it gets nice, I'll take Crash and Brody down to the pond. Today. But she's fun. She's moving around, and she's making a lot of noise, and she's just practically screaming, get me. Get me, get me. So what is happening when they're dragging the leash around? They're becoming more conscious of it. They're understanding. Sometimes it means no resistance. <laughs> but if I just proceed forward, it works. Okay, so I'm going to wait for Brody to take off after this dog. Sonar's trying to fetch the battery pack. <laughs> oh, she's an absolute monster. Crash is just over there doing her laps. You know, so you can just do the same thing again. Oh, Crash. Crash, you were awful, Crash. I'm going to have to lasso you, Crash. That's what I had to do yesterday. All right, so this little one should lay down. Oh, he's only the little one because this... Oh, Crash. She went right into the tree. Well, that's what happens, Crash. Now you're really going to have to... She doesn't listen. God, you can't catch her. I have to have some, I might be able to grab her. Now she'll get right in that pool. If she gets in the pool, I can grab her. You said grab her. No, you can't grab her now. It's too late now. She's gone now. All right, look, so. This dog has a very particular way of laying down. Anyway, I'm going to go drink more coffee. It's starting, the wind is starting to pick up, but you can see what I've got going on. The dog, they're all, you know, that's all they're doing anyway. Sonar will pick up anything. She'll pick up this battery pack, watch. Uh-oh. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Oh, it's happy too. She doesn't care. Oh, she doesn't care. Oh, she's my little handy helper. Oh, she can lift anything. She's strong as an ox, this one. <laughs> All right, looks that one. So, I, you know, I think that's what you want. If this, if this little brown dog has this behavior that no matter what's going on around it, it still just lays down, you know, and Crash and this other dog are playing the role of the kids that are doing whatever they're going to do. You know, and they have these dogs that are adoptable to homes with courteous children. And the hell are these courteous children? I mean, what is this, some kids that have graduated from some charm school? Yes, these dogs are suitable for a home with courteous children. Okay, let me watch the dog. He's going over there. He's being... Okay, he may decide to go out there after a crash. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, he is, he is. Uh-oh. She got caught. I think she was trying to tell me. All right, so now he's got a stick. I think, uh, I think someone was trying to tell me the leash was caught. That was what that little noise was. Oh, my precious angel. Oh, Sonar just loves Mama. Don't pick up the leash, but that's where I'm headed with it. So that if the dog sees the handler touching the leash, it means move forward, not... And if you said, is it always going to have that behavior of fighting the leash? It is going to have it because that's what happened. That's why I tell people to be really careful the first time you put the leash on. Because if it starts fighting it, no, it's not going to forget that. I wouldn't if somebody put something on me and I started <laughs> She's barking at I think she's barking at her own shadow. Uh oh, uh oh, Brody, Brody's finding that frog, I think. Start watching. That frog is over. <coughs> if he goes over there and tries to get it. He said, what do you get? That's when you're gonna page him away. Oh, Crash just ran into it. <coughs> she's barking at her own shadow. <coughs> her eyesight is very bad. She needs glasses. Uh oh, Brody's <coughs> He said, why is Brody biting at her? Now oh, he sees her little fear. Oh, she's awful. If you said no, I don't know, bro. They copy each other. If you said, what can 
do? I can get her over here. <laughs> oh, my little angel. This one I can get down. I think I can probably get her to jump. Hang on. Oh, that was weak, but it's so cold out. Probably in your little nose. Her nose is like a little ice cube. Oh my God, I, I wish I should have taken a picture of her yesterday. Oh, she looked like Rudolph. She looked like Rudolph. All right, guys, let me go warm up a minute. I'm going to run through my other, I'm going to go to Diamond Bar and uh, run through my other puppy videos. Okay, watch, watch. <laughs> you know, a silent recall. If you said you couldn't add verbal to that, I could, but it would, to the dog, it would be ridiculous to have to say anything that close. If I yelled and did the pager, that wouldn't make any sense. OM crash. All right, let me go lasso crash. Oh, she's awful. I gotta set a trap. I gotta set a crash trap. Oh, that's what I need. I need to get like a net. Look at Sonar. So what she did. Oh, she did. That's what she did. She wreck it, Ralph. Yeah, wreck it, Ralph. All right, so if you saw, what can you do? What can you do? I can get her to the platform. Watch. It only took her. Oh, it only took her one step. All right, I can get that one down. Oh yeah, she's a Wreck-It Ralph. That's who she is. She's a Wreck-It Ralph, that's what she does. You just hear things clunking. If you said we'll set it back up, oh, well, I could, but. Look at her, she's a baby dinosaur. And if you said, all right, get it back to the platform. I can't correct it for doing that. Don't understand anything. All right, watch. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get it to the platform two ways. With the movement and with the pager. And I'm specifically making it look like I'm going this way. If you do that, later the slightest turn of your body that way. Let me get her inside before she wrecks everything. <laughs> I need to get real jumbo stuff for her to wrestle around on. All right, you guys, I will be right back. I'm gonna, no, I'm going to Diamond Bar. I'll be right back with some puppy stuff.